Welcome back to the workshop. As discussed in our previous sessions, the need for secure, non-clonable cards is becoming an increasing, an increasing requirement for system administrators. So what's the solution? Smart cards. These cards physically look the same as common 125 kilohertz cards that we're all familiar with, but they operate very differently. So let's delve deeper into these differences between 125 kilohertz and smart cards. 125 kilohertz proximity cards have one and only one job to do, to provide a proximity reader with its unique card number. Nothing else is transmitted and no further verification is made when the card is presented to the reader. These cards do not support advanced AES data encryption used in smart cards. This leaves a 125 kHz card vulnerable and easily clonable. On the other hand, CDVI smart cards can store encryption data. Here is a sequence when a smart card is presented to a crypto reader. Present the card to a crypto reader. A secure connection is established between the card and the reader. AES encryption is applied to the card number. This encrypted number is transmitted to the reader. The reader then sends the encrypted card number to the atrium door controller. Access is then granted or denied to the door. This entire sequence is accomplished in only one to two seconds by the atrium system. So that's one to two extra seconds to ensure your cards cannot be cloned and provides the assurance that your system is as secure as can be. Here's what it looks like in the real world. As you can see, response is immediate. No data encryption is or verification is transmitted between the card and reader. With our smart cards, the crypto reader and card communicate together. So there you have it. One to two extra seconds to ensure you are fully protected with the latest technology available today. It's that simple. As always, stay tuned. New videos are added regularly to our YouTube channel. Bye-bye.